Alright, hello and welcome. It is Monday, Money Making Monday, and I'm going to be in the P EPTU today. Put my luck in uh, some uh, rock mining. I hope you all enjoy it, and this week in Star Citizen came out today with... Uh, November subscriber newsletter and com link coming tomorrow tomorrow and subscriber subscriber program update so we're not sure what that is and we'll find out uh, Thursday inside star citizen structural salvage and the Q&A on the new RSI Arastra mining ship that will come Friday patch watch for 322 and the weekly newsletter so and no SEL so that's what's going on this week in uh, SC and I'm going to switch over to the scene and everybody give me a moment I'll change it over third Scott <laughs> okay all right so go down here get my rock hey Joker what's up hey Scott 07 man 07 all right Hey, Tribunal, what's up, man? How you doing? Taking the E1 out, or the C1, uh, Snowbird 2, out for a little hop. And gonna do some rock mining in uh, Rocky Raccoon. That's what I call. That's what I call my rock. Hello. Shadow. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Hey. I'm pretty good. Just got done with some uh, homework. Yeah. And uh, seeing what you're up to. You're streaming now. Yeah. Hey. Going to uh, do some rock mining. See how it works in here. Uh, oh, I see. Yeah, 322. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm haven't done any yet so this is my first attempt to see what it's like and uh, everything else has been running pretty well uh, I think they said that they were go ahead oh, no go ahead what were you saying no I was gonna say I thought I heard that they put some like mineable changes or something like that some sort of mining changes in this one yeah that's what I heard too, so I'm gonna take a look and see what's happening with that. Haven't done anything with the larger ships yet, but uh, we'll find out. And I'm interested to know what they're doing with the um, subscriber program update. Yeah. Yeah, when we find out, we find out. Tuesday or Wednesday, something like that. Tomorrow, yeah. Tomorrow. Hey, Kendra, yeah. what's yeah. up? So, uh, that and the inside uh, ISC on the structural salvage. And then we've got the Q&A on the Arastra, which is should be interesting. And then we've also got the uh, Patch Watch. For 22 if 
features that they haven't talked about. Hey, what's that up, Kinsey? Are not on the public roadmap. Yeah, those. That's supposed to be for. Um, isn't that for? They're filling out the rest of 2024 and what what they're going to be working on. The patch watch. I think oh, never mind. That's a patch watch. Yeah. I think but they're that's... also supposed to be publishing. Uh, they're supposed to be updating the roadmap um, to the work that is going to be planned for 2024. So that way we, we kind of know what they're going to be working on. Is that for is that going to be this week or before? I don't they know. Go if on it, break? They, so they said soon in a different post. So I'm kind of hoping it'll be this week. Yeah. Because seeing as it's. I don't know December, but welcome. To we'll the see. ASOC Maybe it's later on. They might wait until after the break. You know, but that's like well into January. January you know, yeah. Like, like if they do it, they need to do it before Your they go on break. I think. Yeah. Because. Yeah, I don't know. Like, well, it's already gonna be the new year and you guys haven't updated anybody on anything didn't they do that last year they waited until they got back from break and then updated because they had to do a lot of talks I, and all that maybe i don't remember they might have hmm. we should be getting a uh a uh letter from the chairman probably what in, was that january too after no. the break Thank you. no that was before because remember 318 was supposed to drop and um, Did they put that out they he put out a letter stating that we wanted to do put out 318 but there were so many issues that we decided to keep it in ptu until afterwards after the, the first of the year when did that come out was that december yeah that was december because 318 was supposed to go live on the 16th of last year and it didn't yeah yeah i remember that mm -hmm. so yeah this one this one should be pretty interesting what he says there mm -hmm. so we'll Welcome see what happens to the ASOP vehicle retrieval either system. either the i think either the the letter well he's gonna vehicles, let us know pretty much everything the that they're gonna try to get out for the next year Mm -hmm. Or the new update to the roadmap will tell us either or. Mm -hmm. Last year's was a cluster. <laughs> it, it was kind of a mess last year, uh, Scott. Three three eighteen just threw everybody for a loop. It was it was doing well in the PTU, and then it became the unmentionable. So. <laughs> We are in a far better spot than we were before, and uh, I am I'm pretty happy with where we're at right now. Mm -hmm. After after all the hype of CizenCon, and you know, we there's a lot less unknowns now. We kind of see mm -hmm. where the game is going and what it's going to look like, and there's something to actually kind of hold, you know, mm -hmm. look forward to. I agree. Um, and the fact the fact that the the, as far as back end stuff, there isn't going to be another disaster, or there shouldn't be a, another disaster of like a 318 like there was in the past. I don't think there will. I, I mean, it may be a little rough when it first hits, just like uh, when 321 dropped. It's not going to be anywhere near as as bad. No. So every everybody that I know that has like experience with well i have seen plenty of um people talk on server meshing that have experience with actually using server meshing mm -hmm. and um pes and all that other stuff in, in different capacities mm -hmm. that know more about it and they say it's it's nowhere near as complicated as pes is mm. And that uh, they should be able to, uh, as far as what's the capabilities of CIG and what they've showed so far, they should have no problem implementing it. And they say that it's completely non-destructive to the game environment, as okay. far as like static and dynamic. 
Uh huh. So, which is good, and mm -hmm. that you kind of bring it in into to small pieces. Like you could start off with, uh, let's say, just doing like um, microtech. Just start, or you know, just start off with like planets. They're not planets. Either planets or moons being their own servers and then you can move on to maybe this cluster over here is its own server you can slowly add to it and as you slowly add it'll kind of help with taking the load off of um the servers uh-huh well also to i mean i don't know all the particulars about how it works okay i really don't but i do have an opinion on it and I think I'd rather them bake it get it ready get it at least in the pre tech preview channel so we can see it and run well, they it. will they'll do that yeah but it doesn't it my point is they it's not something that is going to be as rough as the like like they PS. like like they, yeah, it's not going to be like, oh, they just they just unleash this massive change all at once and then just pick up the pieces after. It's going to be little by little. Mm -hmm. And like I said, from from what other people have said is that it's completely non-destructive. So when they do add this stuff, it shouldn't be, you know, it, there shouldn't be any changes other than, you know, fewer entities on servers. Mm-hmm. You shouldn't really notice too much other than maybe hopefully perf server performance what i would love to do is test out that uh, replication layer 100 percent separation excuse me that i would i would have loved to got in on that and see how that worked um but from what i gather it worked rather Not well complete. It just takes a lot of time to, uh, you know, when you crash, it get to a server, but I heard it works very well, so can't complain about that. Uh, you like the Rock DS? Ah, the Rock DS. <laughs> <laughs> The we rock, don't talk about it. <laughs> the rock ds i mean that can go up there with the steel uh, thank you <laughs> well okay the rock ds if it had more protection for the person that's running the laser in front i would consider it but for a multiplayer type of setup, it, it could have been done a, a bit better as far as I'm concerned. Okay, let's see. Oh, we got one right in front of us. Ooh, what was that? Oh! Thank you for the uh, donation to the Kofi, uh, Kinzer. Appreciate it, man. Um, but Joe, uh, oh, I was gonna wear my shirt today. <laughs> I'm glad you finally got it. <laughs> I was gonna wear my shirt today. You know what? I will wear it tomorrow. I, I promise I'll wear it tomorrow. I was so excited. Wear whenever, wear whenever you want to, man. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not gonna know. be like wear it. <laughs> I know, but what happened was when I, I was uh, streaming, and I said, you know what? I gotta go check the mailbox. And sure enough, it came while I was streaming, and here it is. I want you to see it right here. I do have it. I do have it. Yes, my citizen con in this in this and the rough and ready and everything i was like i was so excited i was gonna put it on during the stream but i said nah that would be a little is bit it fit? Much. oh it's perfect 
I haven't oh. I haven't tried it yet, but it's perfect okay. fit. All right, all right, good. But uh, yeah, I was I was gonna hook it up, you know. And, uh, yeah, oh yeah, the Citizen Con shirt, man. Uh, Joe needs. We need to tell you a story about this. <laughs> Joe had put it in the mail, right? And the post office, it got, it fell behind a desk, and it's was sitting there for like how long? Three weeks? So, oh yeah, so, something like that. Yeah. So. I, said, I finally go up there because the, the place is right next to my house. So I just walk down there and, mm -hmm. and was, they're like, let, let me go. Let me go check. Cause they said it never left the facility. And then they go in the back and they're like, it's right here. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Oh man, cool shirt. Well, thank you. Sounds about right. So we're going to, uh, I was going to go and uh, wear it today, but uh, I forgot I got to doing stuff and uh, came in and said, oh, okay. So that's pretty much it. Um, but I am, oh, that's what I meant to ask you. What do you think about the uh, Furies? <clears throat> coming into the coming into this patch and maybe the links I think it's about time honestly I feel like the SRV should be fucking in there well it can't <laughs> they just dropped it no they can they can they they uh -huh. they, they have these self-imposed rules that they, they like to have yeah which is I think it's a bit ridiculous I think I think if you're gonna have a game loop like we're past the sales, right? Yeah. And we're past the sales. You can't buy an SRV right now at all. Mm -hmm. So either, uh -huh. either put it in the store so that people can upgrade, melt and buy and to it, you know, while they're on break. So that way people could actually enjoy the new game loop or well, put it in game. Yeah. Well, the SRV is still in the store. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't expect that. Yeah. I didn't think it was. Uh, the Sulin is also still in the store. And... But they, they, need, they need to keep it there until... Like, any ships that aren't... Like, like as far as, like, ships like the SRV that are vital to, to like... It's the only ship that can do its role mm -hmm. for a whole new game loop. Mm -hmm. They need to keep it at least in the store Gosh, minimum... So mm -hmm. people can upgrade to it and melt things to get it. So that way they could actually play the game loop. But even then, that. I would much rather them put it in game. The, fir the first patch after it's like released. Yeah. Just put it in game, dude. Yeah. Instead, of, instead of the three month. People yeah. will still buy your stupid little ship. <laughs> Just put it in game. <laughs> Because it's not, it's not fair to a lot of people. Because a lot of people can't afford to spend 150 bucks on a game, you yeah. know. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know. It's a bit ridiculous. Like, if people are going to support the game, they're going to support it. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I got one, mm -hmm. you know. And regardless of whether they would, they would have put it in the game or not, I would have gotten it just for the LTI insurance alone, you know. But, I mean, for the people that want to play the game, I feel like you should be able to grind up UEC in the game, and if you do that, you deserve to get yourself SRB as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Well, personally, well, I got, I got a CCU for it. When it dropped like before Invictus or something like that. And I got one for, and I had to upgrade to a Razor. So I saved up and got the Razor and then applied it. And as soon as the SRV dropped, I got it. But then what I did was I had a LTI sitting there waiting 
and I melted it and I put it towards the SRV and now it has lifetime insurance. So, yeah, I get what you're saying. But I do want to see the Furies in, uh, in game uh, come this patch because I think it's time for them. And mm -hmm. yeah. I do want to, because uh, I want to get at least the MX the and the regular Fury because the LX is not going to be in for a bit. But I do want to have those because I like them, and I used my tokens to get get those things, and now I want to have them in game. So, yeah. some ships seem to transfer between patches, and that is supposed to be a thing. Um, usually, Scott, when they drop a new ship. Um, it doesn't come into Bible and game for 90 days. Or, or, no. Two or three patches, Joe? Yeah, somewhere in between like 90 days, right? Yeah, so... I don't know, man. Some, some ships get awful treatment, like the, uh... Well, the, what, what? the Vulture did. Vulture, the Vulture did. Dude, yeah. that that was a massive issue that that took what three or four patches it came out in 318 it didn't go into game until 320 yeah that that's bad but you also got to remember we went through one two three two 18 cycles then two 19 cycles and then 20. Mm -hmm. so that's like how many? That's like four patches. Mm-hmm. Yep. So yeah, it. Some can slip by it. That's for sure. But something small like the Fury and the Lynx, I personally, this is just my thought that I think they will come in. Um, Systems in 22 Systems on. because they they dropped at Invictus so uh -oh, we should see them <clears throat> we'll see what happens yeah but I'm kind of hoping for them Have you visited any new locations yet? And in in, um, yeah, two? I went to uh, a couple of them on uh, Microtech mm -hmm. and saw the uh, the armor shop there in the weapon store. That was pretty cool. Oh, they they had uh, weapon stores. Mm hmm. That one, which, uh, uh, dumb one Aster's Aster's clearing. Oh, Aster's clearing. Was it the com commodity shop that they had there? Was that what that it was? It was close to it, yes. Oh, it was close to it. Oh, I didn't yeah. even see it. I saw the commodity shop in the bar, and yeah. I was like, oh, the, the panels didn't work. Yeah. So. Yeah, but the bar, across from the bar, there's a little shop, and there's an awning to it, and I walked in, and then I saw the armor and the uh, mm. shop in there. Visual mm. improvements are supposed to be in 322, the clouds. Yes, they are. Um, we'll see what happens with that. And go from there. Yeah, they haven't said anything about clouds yet. Nope. They said it was supposed to be in, but... Yeah, tentative. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for the Santaki Eye and the X1. I have a Santaki I do. I've been converted to alien ships. <laughs> well, hopefully it lives up <laughs> to being a heavy fighter and it's actually something I we would want to use. I thought it was a medium. Huh? It's a heavy fighter. It's a huge ship, man. Is the Santaki I? It's it, yeah. Ooh. It's big. Mm, okay. Don't see. Uh, 
so far, they've slowed the rock down. Have you noticed that? They've slowed all ground vehicles down. Mm -hmm. I saw some people complaining about it on the on Reddit. Someone went and they they put all the stats of where they where they were before the patch and where they are now, and mm -hmm. it, it was pretty pretty drastically reduced for all ground vehicles. I don't remember exactly how much, but. Well, I don't, I haven't flipped this one yet, so I don't know if the mechanics are working very well. But, uh, I'm liking this right now. The main alien ship I'm excited about is the BMM. Oh, well, everybody is, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hold my breath for it to come out anytime soon. I'm yeah. just gonna, I'm just gonna wait. Because uh, the Polaris is gonna drop, and uh, that's one that I that that's that was my ultimate dream ship right there. <laughs> I got one too. <laughs> yeah, I got one too. Just because that one's coming out soon, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's gonna come pretty quick. I think for Invictus, they've yes. been working on it for they've been working on it pretty pretty hard. And I think I think it's uh, I think that one, I think the Idris too because the Idris supposedly has its full interior now. Yeah, I, I saw that. I'm, I'm theorizing that uh, it'll come out for Invictus for people because that that should be around the time when server meshing becomes a thing that they're testing. Mm -hmm. What about uh, what do you think on the Zeus? They said that was in white box already. When they oh yeah, it. I, I don't, I don't know, because it wouldn't be all. It would only be, well, for Invictus, wouldn't they only maybe the bounty hunting one? Yeah. But not the others. No, not the other ones. But I, it may but drop. Then. It may drop before that though. Who knows? Uh, I think I think that one's less likely. Hey Dyer, what's up, man? Hey, gentlemen. Hey, Shadow. What's hey, Void. What's up? What's going on, Dyer? Uh, what's this? Nothing much. Heading on. What's up, this guy's been on today's play? Well, I'm in the EPTU trying out rock mining, and I'm not having much luck because I can't find a freaking rock. <laughs> the one that I find is 282 kilometers away, and it's under the ground. Ooh, what's this in front of me? Is that my ship? That's why, that's why we need that new RSI monitor. <laughs> well, you're going to be waiting a minute for that. <laughs> they got like four yeah, ships okay. to do before that one. Uh, yeah. Polaris hits first. Yeah. Then they're talking about the Galaxy, the Perseus. And then after that, probably the Arastra. Because it, it seems like they're dedicating one one of the ship teams specifically for RSI ships. Yeah. Uh, Invictus is not until May, Scott. So we got some time before that even uh, comes to fruition. Invictus hits like the middle of May and ends in June or the beginning of May or something like that. Depends on when it falls. The Christmas, the Christmas bank starts next week, right? Say again? Minalia? Uh, yeah, that starts next week, right? They haven't announced it, but usually it starts before the middle of the month. Yes. Uh, they, said, they said something. Hold on. Did they? I really want to reclaim or wonder how long I have to wait for that. You don't have to wait for it to reclaim. You, get can, in game. you can buy it in game. Yep. It's like 15,500,000, something like that. But I mean, you can get it. I bought one in game. Yeah, you can get it in game. I have one in game. Named it the Cookie Monster. What's up, uh, Jack? I don't play enough to buy in game. <laughs> Yeah, it it takes a it takes a minute to get uh, 
something in game, especially that size. Find somebody with an SRV. Go, go and uh, use that thing to go do the toe exploit with the uh, hammerhead. You do that for an hour or two, and you got yourself enough money. You know what the uh, phenom said that they it doesn't give the uh, uh, crime stat anymore. Now that could be a glitch. Uh in the in the EPTU mm -hmm. though. Oh. Uh, I see the message pop up for me where it's attempting to, but I go, so either I take the comma ray out or I go sit in the pilot seat and I, I still, if I don't take the comma ray out, I still see the message pop up in 322. I, I tried it out, so it seems like it's trying to. Okay. Um, is there a ship that gives the reclaimer as a loner? You know what? I have no idea. Uh, I can look real quick. Fraction one second. On. Hey, Shadow, those uh, containers you could buy at the base ports now, the one SDUs, those you could uh, take out in the hangar and then put on the Sulin uh, cargo spot. The, the, the what now? Oh, the alien starter ship, the vertical one? The Sulin, yeah. You know how you can now purchase uh, the SCU boxes on the EPTU? You, now you can put the, those boxes, the one SCU boxes, uh, on the Sulin. Oh, nice. Nice. So you could have, you could uh, take, uh, you know, cargo into a, to a mission or a bunker or whatever you want. Fraction mode on. Okay, this is a bust. Body mode. Because the arm is broken. There is no ship that'll give you the reclaimer as a loner. So the rock um, arm is busted. Now let me see if you can rent it in game though, because you might be able to rent it. You might be able to rent it. That might be a more viable option for people. They want to go try stuff out. A cop injured himself into my tail last night and didn't get a crime stat for the first time. <laughs> Ooh, actually a hill that the rock can't climb. Interesting. Not enough speed. I want my restra <laughs> now, damn it. Well, <laughs> a lot of people want that ship now. <laughs> Doesn't say anything about being able to rent it either. Yeah, sadly. I don't think you can. That's a bit ridiculous. You should be able to. Do. Right? But Maybe they're trying to entice you to buy it in game. You know. Or with real money. <laughs> yeah, either one. So, the rock is... My rock is broken. can't scan anything so this is a bust the monthly subscriber stuff doesn't come out till tomorrow right tomorrow yeah subscriber stuff yes and the updates to all of that as well what's up Brian <laughs> I'm excited to see what the uh, subscriber update is. Yep. I hope it's. I. I mean, I hope they make good decisions here because they. This could be another thing that pisses people off. So we'll see what they do. <laughs> right. Be prepared for drama, folks. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It is what it is. Different for the monthly subscriber. Yeah, there's supposed to be. There's supposed to be an update to the to the uh, subscriber program. Yeah. That comes out tomorrow as well. Oh, like, like extra stuff or don't know? We, we don't, don't know, know yet. 
They said it's a complete overhaul of it, so we'll see. Salvage drama is too funny. You know, I'm going to say this. And Joe and I were talking about this before. It's better to have something than waiting for six months. You know, everybody's tripping on it already. It just came in. So they, they wanted to give us something and they gave it to us. They gave it to us at a tier zero level. Okay. And now they're complaining that it's too simple. Seriously? Well, this, this is the argument, okay? Yeah. So, the argument is that they put out tier zero and then they don't touch it for however many years. And then oh. when they finally, they, they take two, like, this is what people are afraid of. That they don't touch it for so many years of the fact that by the time they get around to actually updating um, salvage again, yeah. That that things become outdated and just don't make any sense. And so they scrap plans yeah. for other plans that don't meet expectations. So like like for the claw, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Like maybe the maelstrom system comes out and they realize, oh, we can't have the claw function like everybody wants it to. Mm -hmm. And so that's what people are upset about that's what they're afraid of mm -hmm. now i think they'll find a way i have more faith than most other people i don't think it's going to be like old times you know i think they have learned and i think they will but you know that's just me that's that's just my opinion well that's i agree it's... with you i mean it's it's the first iteration it's something that we got hull scraping that was that was number one. This is number two. This is the next step. And I'm I'm pleased with it. When when it comes to features, like it was so when they announced that Structure Salvage was gonna happen in 322, I I went back and looked to see how long it's been in development. Mm -hmm. And it was in development for, for only like four months or so, or a little bit over four months. Mm -hmm. And that already tells me it's going to be super basic mm -hmm. and um, it's not going to be, you know, and then on top of that, when you think that the, think about that the maelstrom system isn't out yet. Uh, also, it's obviously not going to be able to rip apart ships because they need that system for that. Mm -hmm. So it's, I already had it, the expectation set in my mind that it was going to be very, very tier zero. And I feel like, with any other implementation of any other new feature, that's that's exactly how it's going to be. You know, it might it might be a little bit more fleshed out than um, um, than structural salvage. Like I think with resource management, that's obviously been um, in the works for how many years now? One or two years, something like that. Yeah. So that's going to be pretty. I expect that one. I have high expectations for that when that first comes out as being something pretty pretty it, it should be fun and it should have a lot to it mm -hmm. um a lot more to it than structural salvage or you know any other game loop that's has barely been in development so and i, I i'm pretty confident that the maelstrom system is gonna is gonna let them do or live up to the expectations of everybody when it comes to the flaw and how it should work mm -hmm. i think it'll be fine <laughs> Target friendly. I'm gonna get rid of this thing, get another one. Target friendly. Insane. Because it won't. Target friendly. So what's uh, that was uh, today's agenda on the stream? I'm just doing rock mining today. But the rock doesn't want to work, so I'm going to go back and get another one. Uh, I don't know. I've been here for 12 years, so I just don't know anymore. I think they're just going to push it out half-ass and just shut us up. The game on the whole is going to get dumbed down. 
So, as simple as easy. She I got more cried. faith than that. I, um... But, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I just don't think the servers will be able to handle the load of that system. See, violence fixed it. Yeah, it blew it up. Uh, not being on AWS network anyways, made for spread screens and video cells. Well, I mean... I've only been in uh, I've been in the, the game just over two years and I've seen a lot I've seen some you know in my two years but what they've done in the past few months they've cranked out a lot and I think Squadron 42 stuff is going to start coming to uh, in Q2 but not to the point where it's going to be outrageous. So, we'll see. Yeah, I came into it in the golden years. I, I haven't been around that long, and a lot of people have been in longer than me, and they are, you know, pretty skeptical, and, and they have the right to be. They have every right to be. Yeah, I, I came in around the time when, uh, I, I came in about four years ago now, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, I, I came in knowing exactly what, what the game, like, what their past was, and what to expect, and to possibly be disappointed with a lot of things, and, uh, I was okay with that then, and then, you know, I still have that expectation that things can kind of, like, not live up to any of that and if that happens i'll probably just move on to another game you know but i mean since then it seems like things have been slowly snowballing mm -hmm. thing better and um i'm still overall pretty positive but i mean i'm one of those people too that could easily just you know, if they do mess shit up, I'm okay with it, and I just move on to something else. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm. I get, uh, but yeah, it it's it's it doesn't mean it's okay or anything. I just, uh, I don't take it as seriously as a lot of other people do. I mean, I'm more than happy. I, I, I'm, I you know, I play the game every day, okay, every day. And yeah, there's some days that I get frustrated with it, you know, because something's not working right or something that should be working right doesn't or something like that. But, you know, I enjoy it for what it is and what's happening with it. And it's getting much better than it was. Um, 317 was a very stable patch once they got it worked out. But it was content dry. And a lot of people went through everything, burnt themselves out on it, and then they left. So, I mean, they were waiting for 318. Just like everybody else was. And when 318 did its little kabang, um, people were pretty pissed off. And CIG lost uh, quite a bit of uh, revenue on that, as far as I know. But they made it up. It took them a minute, but they made it back up. They made a shitload of money. That's good for. Landing gear up. But uh, things happen, and you know it could have been a whole lot worse, as far as I know. And right now, I'm not complaining with uh, what I've been seeing. Just I want them to keep it up and not keep us, you know, begging and screaming for more things. I don't even log on these days, maybe once a week. I'm just tired of issues that should have been dealt with years ago. 
I backed in 2013. Then we had a hangar and no ship. Then a ship that couldn't move. Things are finally wrapping up proper for SC though. So now I just watch stream till the game gets to the level what I expect it to be by now. I don't know. Well, <laughs> like I say, I just enjoy it and have a good time with it. And there's days where it has its issues just like everything else. So, could be a lot worse. Could be a lot worse. Okay, where is my landing area? I agree. I totally agree with that, Scott. SC has taken uh, some leaps and bounds from what it was. Like I say, I don't know all the particulars because I wasn't around. I've got over 10K invested in this project that I backed on Kickstarter days with was my alt and it's been 12 years now and not even a quarter of the way done. Well, all we can do is hang tight and keep going. Quantum travel engaged. Quantum travel complete. That's what we got. We just go with it. Some people, some people have just totally backed away from it until it's feature complete. Some people Quantum travel engaged. get in, play it, and have a good time with it, and enjoy it, and laugh about it, and then go on. Yeah. Some people step away from 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 it for like years, and then come back, and they'll find a reason to play it, and, or they don't, complete. and they leave again. It all depends on what you want. It's healthy to step away. I stepped away for a while. And then um, mm -hmm. this is the first time I've actually been excited. You know, like they, there's been uh, some stuff that has got me excited to get back in and play and try things out. And um, I enjoyed Pyro when, when they had it in the preview channel. And um, I'm Pyro excited to, uh, I'm excited for them to test out Jump Gates in the preview channel next mm -hmm. actually jumping from Stanton to Pyro so yeah that's going to be fun to try I'm liking 322 so far for the most part yeah but my fleets are based on having multiple systems I paid into the game due to their goals promising things like 100 star systems I haven't been excited in years, just literally would sit in my ship and then log out, but now, but I'm excited now. Yeah. Quantum travel engaged. Quantum travel complete. Yeah, the experience is different for everybody, you know? Like, you're going to be either going to be disappointed or you're going to ride the wave and um, mm -hmm. see where it goes. Because, yeah, I know the project has changed many many times throughout its development and it's had its fair share of issues and i know that uh there's a lot of people that because i mean back when the kickstarter first happened i mean it was going to be it, the scope was nowhere near where it's at where yeah. they're going for right now and that's what uh, i heard it was you know it was gonna have cut scenes it was gonna be more linear there was going to be I mean it was going to be kind of like Starfield almost just in it's it was well I shouldn't say Starfield it's going to be more like um, Freelancer Freelancer 2 or something so but yeah there's a lot of things that uh, has changed since then 
So people are going to be disappointed that, you know, maybe a lot of those things from the Kickstarter isn't going to happen. But, I mean, it's also been, uh, I don't know. I mean, I wasn't there back then, so I only I only got in around 2019, so. I'm thankful that I that when I got in, I was I had the ability to like see the the history and like everything that's kind of happened before then. Because mm -hmm. I think it kind of like helped future proof my feelings for for the project. I mean, when I got into it, I mean I I just fell in love with it, and you know as the as time wore on i haven't swayed but i'm more open to okay when is this going to happen and if i don't get my expectations up too high because they'll be dashed and you'll be hurt and i learned that in 317 you know don't get your don't get your uh, hopes up so high that you get burnt. And I learned that I learned that in three seventeen because it was it wasn't dry for me because I always had some I always had something to do in it. But some people ran through it, you know, coming into the game brand new, ran through it, and then. They're bored. Me, I don't... I do something different all the time, so... And I like doing the industrial stuff, and that's what gives me more of a... incentive to keep... to come in and play it. Engineering is my my big thing, so I'm I'm really. Oh um, yeah. It, 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 I mean, whenever they get the the two things that'll keep that'll keep me playing, I think through the years is the the freight the persistent uh, hangers with freight elevators. Mm -hmm. Also the um, the resource management system, along with engineering. Um, mm -hmm. Those two things, if they manage to get those in. Um, this upcoming year, I'll be I'll be pretty fucking happy. As, mm -hmm. Assuming assuming is fun, and it it works mostly. <laughs> I don't expect yeah. it to work fully. I mean, I, I know there's gonna be bugs with it. I'm just hoping that they're not gonna release resource management to the point where I I mean I can kind of see in my head that could be disastrous. I feel like because imagine flying your ship and bugs start hitting and desync starts hitting. Mm -hmm. your resources your resource management system and you start getting failures for no reason mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then you're going to be trying to fix it and you're going to have to do all these workarounds to fix it that's what i'm kind of scared of i'm hoping it that doesn't happen <laughs> yeah. yeah i'm hoping that they release it and it it'll be decent um but well, we'll see when did they they said that they were going to try and release uh the Excuse me, the first iteration in uh, Q2? That from the uh, ISC? Yeah, yeah, I think they said Q2, yeah. So, we'll, we'll see. And Q1 is supposed to be as much Squadron 42 stuff as they can. Mm -hmm. So, I think everybody's kind of expecting that to be a, a pretty decently big patch. Mm hmm. We'll see what that has. I'm hoping the freight elevators come in Q1 patch, but I'm not fully expecting that. That would be cool. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Because, I mean, from everything that we've seen and heard, it, it kind of, to me, it seems feasible that it could possibly be in Q1. Mm -hmm. It breaks my heart every day that I will never see my Orion Kraken in 100 plus star <laughs> as, as my dream. Uh, you don't know that yet I mean know. it's a little bleak I'm not gonna lie it's a little bleak but we might still see it I don't know about 100 systems 
I still don't think we're gonna get 100 systems. I'm not gonna. Maybe, not gonna put my, maybe five or six. I'm not maybe gonna 10. put all no, my but... eggs in that basket. I take, I take it one step at a time. I learned that, uh, like I said, I learned that in uh, 317. So I take my expectations and keep them at a minimum. If I get excited about something, you'll know it. Welcome. <laughs> because I actually game. see it. Huh? This game's going to be in, in development, you know, forever. forever. I mean, they're going to constantly, Your even when there's supposedly, you know, an actual release of the game mm -hmm. uh, of Star Citizen, you know, they're, they're still going to be adding shit. They're still going to be monthly updates and stuff like that and mm -hmm. um qu or quarterly updates um so i think this so i mean look at look at how long eve has been going mm -hmm. that's that's been going for over 10 years now right yeah. and um sc is probably gonna be longer than that i think and uh i mean imagine where they're so let's say let's say there's a release date. We're just gonna say uh, of Star Citizen two years from now. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, I I think this game will be be around for 10, 20 more years, probably. With the amount of development that's been going into it, and it's not gonna just stop. And then the thing is, the ships and fleet ideas they sell sell to us is all based on many many star systems okay they're claiming ai assisted game development within three years which would exponentially accelerate coding sounds like some peeps need to read spectrum instead of reddit uh, if we don't get all those systems then why all the caps in uh to be crowded place and you know, plus five caps and well, I mean, we all know that server meshing has to be in the game for capital ships to work. We all know that. Capital ships will be their own servers. Mm-hmm. Essentially, like flying servers. Especially Welcome if you get a bingo, okay? And you can only get a bingo in-game. You cannot buy it. You have to well, even, find even it. Well, even interests will be like that. Yeah. You vehicle, have to. Your vehicle has been delivered to the you have location. to find a bingo carrier in game, and then it has to be crewed twenty four seven. Okay, I mean that ship is humongous. Please visit us again. So goodbye. But really, they they said the, the uh, Idris, like you said, it'd be its own server. Well, yeah. Peeps don't realize it took seven years of tech development to get the Connie Merlin dock undocked to happen. Same to even undock. I mean, I don't, like I say, there's a lot that I don't know about because of the fact that I am just a two-year. <laughs> I mean... I get a lot Development is of ramping up, so... Say again, Joe? Sure. Development is ramping up. There is a snowball effect happening, so mm -hmm. things are really starting to come together. And, um, you know, you can look back in the past all you want and how slow it was, mm -hmm. but, I mean, I think everybody can agree it's better. The development is better than it, than it was in the past. And uh, all we can hope for is it continues to get uh, bigger and better. Mm -hmm. As long as that happens, you know, I don't think it'll take another seven years for a basic feature like what you were just saying to happen. At least it shouldn't. All I know is I waited for a couple of ships that, I, that were in concept and they came to fruition i'm a very happy camper about that um there's another one that i waited for since last year 
uh, my uh, X1, and that's coming, even though people have been waiting since 2017 for the X1 to drop. Uh, it's tentative because it hasn't been uh, shown as committed yet, but it is in the cards. And the Santaki Eye was so close to being completed, it almost came for Alien Week, but it didn't pass. And you know what? I'd rather them have a no-go than put out something that's not going to work. Just my thought. And I think Joe can agree on that because he, he loves his alien ships and he wants it to work. <laughs> Oh well, yeah, I mean, I I definitely agree they shouldn't be releasing anything unfinished, so right. or that doesn't work. Right. It's a given. CR I think I think with structural salvage, I think they could have waited a bit longer to uh, to to add to it a little bit more than what what's there. Okay, but to. I think it was good that they put something there to give us an idea of what is what is coming and what needs to be worked on and have it actually do something. I thought it was They wanted they wanted cool. people to be back on on the basic and work their way up and that's fine and I'm I'm happy with I'm personally happy with what we have. Mm -hmm. I'm not or anything but i'm also saying that it i think also at the same time it could have waited a little bit and they could have added a little bit more to it mm -hmm. but that's not me complaining mm -hmm. no. i'm just I, I i mean once i actually got to do it i was like oh this is very satisfying <laughs> you know it's it's so i mean obviously if you want to get in there fast, make some quick money, you can just fracture a ship, put it all in your buffer, and then go. And then move on and just keep doing that. You can completely skip hull scraping. But if if you're doing it for the salvage experience and just because you like salvage, like, um, it, add, it, you know, it is simple, but it does add more steps to what you have to do, you know? Mm -hmm. And you do, if you want to do it that way, you do have to have a crew. Because I tried soloing, like hull scraping, and on top of that, doing um, the structure salvage. And it's a lot. Filling up an entire reclaimer is, is pretty brutal. <laughs> it, <laughs> it takes a lot of time. Yeah, it does. And, uh, but it, it, it's fun, though. I, I, I enjoyed it. And um, I think if we ever get any sort of fucking economy in the game, you know, they could they could make it they can make the commodities as far as construction materials and R RMC. They could balance those in the way where maybe you you actually need to do both somehow. Mm -hmm. And it, like they need to make it a necessity to where it's worth it to to scrape and to structural salvage yes because like you can't just show up to a wreck and just pulverize it and then done you know with a click of a button you need to have a reason to do both i think and um yeah they they need to add more to it so that way it's it's a little bit more of a time sink mm -hmm. Paid over five hundred dollars into Ray Rivers the least dangerous cluster F2. Talk about a bug as an alpha backer. So C so CR lied to us. What do you mean he lied to us, Jack? No, they didn't lie. Like they do with everything else, they, they iterate on it as they go along and they don't have the tech to do mon like full on munching yet. 
they need the maelstrom system once they get the maelstrom system and they can make it how everybody wants it to be and they they stated that in their their little thing too mm -hmm. i mean it's <sighs> it all it all comes down to do you have faith that they'll come out with the maelstrom system within the next year and and uh you know, it does what it's supposed to do. And if you don't, then if you, if you don't have that faith, then yeah, I don't know. That sucks. Yeah, it does. <laughs> that sucks. I, w I would move on to yeah. something else. I, I mean, I'm not telling anybody just to give up on the game. No, I'm not saying that. Until you get what you want, you may want to do something else until you see the feature that you want because then you'll end up getting really frustrated and not want to play it at all now that's my thought on it it's just that you know I'm not telling anybody anything like that but it is going to take a minute you got to remember Things aren't made in 10 seconds. Now, I'm, I'm also not a very cynical person when it comes to the game, so... It's, uh... The reason why I still have my faith is, it, within the project is because... Um, I'm constantly seeing progress getting better mm -hmm. and not worse. So, as long as it's not getting worse, the faith will stay there. I was, I, I was in a bad spot before Citizen Con. And, yes, you were. Um, yes, you were. I you know, I, I wasn't playing the game at all, and I was, I was prepared to kind of just be completely let down with the project and kind of just move on to other things. And um, I think we have a a better understanding of of what we could potentially have for Star Citizen like a, a better picture of what it's supposed to look like so and then everything that's happened after Citizen Con has been I think positive stuff I think good things have happened so yeah, it's, it's kind of got me more excited there was a lot of things that a lot of people were like Citizen Con this is a make it or break it yeah it was definitely a make it or break it for me and uh, now now the, the next thing the next thing is whether we'll see this stuff in 2024 or not like they say and i think i think it'll be a massive issue if 2024 becomes a letdown you know and they don't re they don't do what they say like they don't release 70 80 percent of what they said mm -hmm. hey shaved what's up man well i mean I am going to state this as someone who's only been in for so long with the progress that I've seen in the past four months has given me a you know not a new light but something more to look forward to I was always looking forward to something, but this gives me even more of an incentive. Well, okay. we didn't know what we were playing, honestly. Yeah. Like, before Citizen Con, there was no picture. Like, all the stuff they showed, they were not talking about that at all. Yeah. They weren't showing it. There was no plans being shared. We had no idea what the state of any of that was. Yeah. And so, when they showed it, that's why it was so much of a shock for people, because it was like, holy fuck, like, I didn't, you know, like, why haven't you said anything about that? Like, what the hell? That looks, you know, and then the fact that they all showed it, you know, in engine, most of it in engine, it's, uh, mm -hmm. that was a massive deal, because it's like, okay, this is real, this is a thing that they're internally, you know, playing right now. Mm -hmm. And, uh, that's why it was a big deal when uh, I got a chance to talk to Bone at the at the VIP after party, and <laughs> he was like, he was like, yeah, I hate playing that that mm -hmm. piece. 
game that you guys play too. He's like, I, I, I'm, I've been playing the new stuff for so long, and it's, you know, it, it's so much better than what we have so far. And he's like, he just, he just wants that shit to come out too. Mm -hmm. And he says that pretty much everybody's been playing all the new stuff and uh, developing all the new stuff, and that they forget, you know, that until they got to come back and like bug fix some of the PU stuff. Mm -hmm. And like, uh, damn, like they don't want to play it either. You know, they they want to bug fix it so that way we can play what we have currently. But they're they're pretty eager to get all of that in our hands as soon as possible too. So, mm -hmm. and it seems like they really enjoy the uh, the changes to. Uh, I mean the 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 game that they're playing seems like it's it's a lot lot more of a fun time than what we're doing dealing with so well it's also I, I i can't say more polished well actually you could they're playing a more polished version it is more what, polished than what it we're is. playing yeah mm -hmm. yeah it so definitely is more polished but this old wells back a future game for the next generation Yeah, it's hard for new players to understand. It took 12 years to get here. People who back 12 years ago were pretty wore out. I wish I had heard about X <laughs> two years ago. Yeah. I I, I completely agree. We're, me, me and Shadow are in a better spot uh, mentally, I think. Yeah, because, I mean, I saw this game being played by Cobra TV. And when he took Anna Demetriou out, the voice actress for Miss Babbage she had never seen the game and she did a voice she did a voice for it and she'd never seen it and when I saw this and it was, he was flying the 300i and I was like oh my god that ship is gorgeous and uh, I just fell in love with the game after that and uh that's it you know it's just it is what it is and yeah we all have our rough days in it and want to cuss it out and have a fit and you know just just let it go for for a day or so i mean there's days that i've had my issues and i walked i walked uh, got up and walked away from it for like a few hours or whatever and uh, came back, or I've walked away from it at night. Came back the next day, around 24 hours later, and I was fine. So I mean, it's it's something you got to deal with. I mean, I don't know what else to say. What's my favorite part of the Reliant Sin? I like the electron microscope. I've never flown the uh, Reliant. To be totally honest. Best ship in the game is the Mako. I think that one's the one with the, uh, what is it, the, the broadcasting camera? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The news? The, that That's the good one right there. Well, that one's the best. <laughs> science is going to be so fun. Uh, Everett said he wants to get a a Reliant Mako so he can cover the Snowbirds adventures through that. I mean, if that's still a thing, you know, we yeah, don't know. We don't they know don't about it, so that might be done. But I mean, having that in game, they got to give some sort of functionality to it, to be mm -hmm. honest. But I mean, I I, I think. As far as the ability to broadcast, man, I don't, I don't know if that's a thing that can be done. I don't know. But it'd Does be interesting really to see. Do, that, do you want to be a news anchor? I don't know. <laughs> Not I think me. For like esports stuff, you know? Yeah. I don't know how they would do it, but esports would benefit from it, I think. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, you have streaming for that. Like you just. I don't know, you know, you got YouTube, you got OBS. 
-hmm. You got an ambulance running behind by your house again. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the dogs. dogs are going a little crazy. <laughs> They're protecting the house. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right now, I'm not happy with the uh, with the rock. Oh, there we go. Got something. What is that? You're you're just not finding commodities or the performing up oh, or what's going on i just found some gems i was looking for some gem rocks and it wasn't coming up and now i just found some so mm -hmm. i see okay. yeah it was kind of being weird but looks like it's gonna i have to say the arc light pistol is a fucking beast man the beast now mm. compared to what it was uh, okay my laser's not working this sucks yeah there's a reason why i stay away from that mm. I, I well in general i stay away from buggy stuff so i've been i've been doing a lot of uh hrts and drug mm. smuggling because that to me, that's the drug smuggling is really fun, and it actually fucking works. Yeah, I can't. I can't even get this to work. I'll say this much: I've never been more excited for Squadron Forty Two as to even now. Air to the ground. My ears are twisting. Smell a story. <laughs> Everett. <laughs> that's that's the Snowbird reporter, Joe. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Hey, Everett, what's up? Oh, man. Well, this is a bust. I can't get the uh, arm to work. And I'm in mining mode. And it just popped back again, so. Mining mode off. I you see the new gestures in their outfits and stuff? Fracture mode on. Yes. Did you s see them at the... Uh, they're on every all the settlements. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they got the uh, legendary armor that they showed off for uh, CitizenCon. Like all the different armor tiers. Oh. Yeah. People. So the main thing that people have been doing at the settlements is to just go there just to kill them all and take their armor because <laughs> you can't get it anywhere else. Right. Oh, the NPCs standing around. I saw it. Yeah. Yeah. I saw a bunch of them yesterday. Uh, uh, I said I was looking at it. <laughs> uh, you guys think CIG will drop another ship before the new year? Yes, the Santaki I. Santaki I, the X1s, and the G12s, baby. They said G12? Oh, I thought G12s were in there. Uh, well, they're being worked. The details are work being worked on, so. Yeah. Um, let me go look at the thing now, because now I I thought the G12s were in there, but maybe not. I think the G12 was being worked on. I could have I could have gotten it mixed up. I think uh, I no no BMM no Zeus. <laughs> Jeez. No no no, those aren't coming. Not just yeah. yet. Don't hold your breath for the BMM. Honestly, just, just I would just forget about that ship completely. Mm -hmm. Just for just for so you, you know you're not mentally invested. Jim. Look forward to the right. So now uh, I'm looking forward to the Raylan because the Raylan uh, is actually being worked on, and that's going to be just as elaborate as the BMM as far as inside. If you guys haven't seen the the um, concept art. For that yet for the inside it's it's pretty beautiful it's it is a beautiful ship yeah i got so. the uh i found the uh uh the pdf brochure on it and i took a look at it it's pretty yeah. intense that that ship right there i think is enough to to knowing that's in production 
it takes away some, a lot of the pain of the BMM, I think, for me. Well, for at least for now. Well, Gatak, this is the first Gatak ship in the in this the railings of Gatak. So mm -hmm. with the implementation of the Sulin, the Raylan is pretty almost close. I would think, maybe. I don't know. But... Oh well, yeah, that we we should expect the same amount of, you know, level of detail that they had with Sulin into the the Raylan because you know, from what they've said is that the people that, that, um, they, they, they're going to have the same people. I would expect them to use the same people that worked on the Sulin to move them on to the Raylan because they have an understand, a better understanding of the, the, the development process of making a ship like that mm -hmm. or aesthetics and the level of de detail and everything. Yeah. So... Um, I, I think, I think that ship is gonna, as far as like tech wise, like in the inside, like mm -hmm. alien tech and the way everything looks, I think it'll blow us away. Mm -hmm. At least I'm thinking it will. Well, I'm, I'm impressed with the Sulin. That's a beautiful ship. That ship is gorgeous. Oh. I was more than... I, I wasn't all that excited for it, but when I rented it and got a look inside and walked through it and uh, said, okay, my first alien ship. <laughs> Quantum travel engaged. I'm over here at this new, at Cutter's Rig. Mm. Uh massacring everybody to take all their uniforms. <laughs> the Taurus but here's the thing Taurus. though. They're so so they the these guys, the dusters, they have these masks that supposedly are supposed to protect them from the elements of Hurston, you know? So you can actually breathe. Yeah. And I've tried them on, they don't work. So mm. you still get like the the atmos the effects of unhealthy oxygen. <laughs> yeah, right. Toxic, the toxic air and stuff. So that's unfortunate. They need to fix Quantum that. You see, who has a 600i gets a G12, correct? That's oh, what I hear. You know, is it the G12? I thought it was uh, an X1. Well, uh, no, the X1 goes with the 400i. Oh, that's what I'm thinking of. Uh, that's what I'm thinking of. Okay. The G12. Now, I have one, and at the CCU game, it said that the G12 comes as a loner with the 600i. You get a a, trumb, um, a cyclone with it for now, but when the when the uh, 600 drop, when the G12 drops, you're supposed to get a G12 with the 600i as a loaner unless you buy it. So I don't know for sure. But that's what I saw. Quantum travel complete. So if you go to CCU game, you should see and click on the 600i, you should see it as part of your loaner package. Cuz I have a 325 that comes with that ship as a loner. So, I don't know. I, I, they need to really clarify that. Yeah, we'll see. Because if a, if a G12 comes with it, then, you know, I'm not complaining. I'm wondering if, if, if uh, X1 has storage. No. I did. I took a look at it yesterday, and there is no room for storage on the X1. You don't think it'll have a small, like, external storage thing? Uh, it didn't. In, in the Q and A from 2017, they said no. Now, Thank you. Please, it may have changed 
over the years with the development on it, but they said no in the Q&A from 2017. I went searching for it yesterday just to get a little background on it. And how you get into it is really cool. And it even shows a um, where the components are. I have the Exploration Pathfinder X1 Hope. It has a tiny cargo. I doubt it, Shay, or, or Scott. I, I doubt it. They really didn't... Uh, in the Q and A, they did. They said no, no uh, storage. Like I said, it's 2017. It may have changed. Don't know. That was quite a long time ago, and I think bank. things have changed a little bit. Yeah. So, yeah. it could be. It could be possible. Could be, but like I say, a little something. Uh, got to go. Have a great see. Have a great stream. Catch you all later. All right, Shave. You have a good one, man. But yeah, I mean, it was, that was a while ago, so something, something could have changed in the time. We don't know. I also want a quantum drive on my cyclone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, all ground vehicles should have quantum drives. I don't understand why they don't. <laughs> They wanted, from what they said, they wanted the Dragonfly to have a small storage bay in the Q&A for the X-1. And, uh... From 2017? Yeah. That's what and, he said. Uh, and it's uh, probably changed. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably changed. So. Because there is a little storage bay on the dragonfly i think all ground vehicles should have storage yes some some capacity even if it's as much as like what your armor would hold which isn't that much just it, even the slightest little itty bitty <laughs> bitty amount well your hover quad has a little storage bay you know <sighs> be so glad when they decide to make this a little wider so I can so you can get in. That would be nice. Okay. Yeah, the hover quad does have storage. When I tested when I tested it a year ago in the PTU, uh, well, it'll be two years coming up in January. Um, yeah, it had storage, and I had two cover quads, and then they started acting up, and I melted them. And it's a shame because I love the hover quad. I thought it was cool. Oh crap. I got to turn off the engines. I'm gonna go down here and get myself a yeah, that's why I melted my yeah, it, it was great. It was so cool. And then the doggone thing started blowing up left and right. And I was like, you know what? <laughs> I didn't do that. It's funny. Oh, dude, it was it was so cool when you first got the upper quad. It was amazing. And then all of a sudden, bam, bam, bam. I was like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> Engines. And I had two of them. I had one for uh, myself and Magic M, so we could go and do uh, exploration. And then the doggone thing started acting up, and I just said, "No, I'm not going through this." So I melted it. 
Not in both of them. And I can get them back, but dinner time. Catch you all later. Have fun. All right, take it easy, Everett. Have a good time, man. Or have a good dinner. a couple of do some hand mining I'll just go that route mm -hmm. have you been getting crashes Welcome to the desktop Joe to the pretty ASOP bad no system. 322 has been very very stable I um, I think it's been one of the most stable patches. I've had one 30k, and I've I've played probably a total of uh, maybe 10 hours. Mm, I had uh, a couple yesterday, and it was around the area of the new settlements because it would just really bog down and. And if you move too quickly, it'll it'll crash the desktop. Mm. So I uh, did some uh, Nvidia drop new drivers today, and uh, I put some uh, I did some tweaking on on uh, my uh, card properties and. It's been running very well compared to what it has been before. Hmm. Yeah, I don't mess with my computer to, to get the game to work better hmm. or to have better performance because the way I see it is that the performance of this game fluctuates so much. It's like once you start tweaking with settings, you know, like you shouldn't have to tweak settings to get the game to work properly you know and it's right. like i would rather wait for them to get their head out of their ass and, and start fixing things rather than start messing with my computer because what i'm gonna do is i'm probably gonna fuck it up somewhere and then you know at some point i'm gonna have to you know mess with the settings again to bring it back to where it was because they finally fixed something and you know now it's not working right because with the new settings i, I put and I don't know. I, I've noticed when I started doing it, I started having issues like that. Mm. And uh, maybe it's a me problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe I'm just, I'm just, uh, you know, doing the wrong thing. But uh, I think me personally, I'd re I'm, I'm not even going to touch anything. If shit don't work, I'm not playing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if it works, I'll play. So, but it's been very stable for me personally yeah I, I mean i really haven't had any problems on it it's just recently yesterday when i was at the uh uh what you call it the um settlement that's when it uh crapped out on me and i was like it did it twice and then it did it again today and I said, okay, something's not right. And I went and changed something just to see, to give it, to add it to the card to make it run better, to add the game to the card to make it prioritize the card. And I haven't had a problem since. Mm, okay. So, crossing fingers, see how long it lasts. It seems to be working rather well at this point. Yeah. So what other what other stuff you been up to, man? Uh, I've been playing a game called Void Crew, and that's been really fun. If you got a multi crew, like space multi crew itch, where you want to be like an engineer, you want to have a pilot, you want to have a navigator, you want to have 
uh, someone for EVA. Mm -hmm. You want to have Gunner. It is super fun. It definitely scratches that itch for mm -hmm. like engineering gameplay, kind of like what I want. Mm -hmm. Well, also, too, you know that uh, I'm going to try out the Arena Commander multi crew. Hopefully, oh, tomorrow. yeah. I'll do, I'll do that with you because uh, I've tried it out, but solo. Mm -hmm. And it's cool. you can spawn in any part of the um, ship that you want. Because <laughs> I took a look at it yesterday and it, it was really slick. Oh, yeah. So, uh, I do want to try it. Uh, Ooh, these armors inventory. look slick, man. Look. Yeah, they are pretty cool. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's go to the ship. I think you're going to be happy with that. Okay. Heading out. Hi. See if we can get some uh, rock mining in. thing to work on the multi-tool yeah you know where it sucks up the gems instead of taking them one at a time yeah oh yeah i love that that thing's awesome <laughs> complete. Thank you. And please visit again. Some of the armors are bugged. The new ones. Mm. Yeah, uh, the, so the legendary armor that they showed at CitizenCon, I, I, I looted that, mm -hmm. and it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. So you have the the mat, the gas mask, but like the feathers and the the cloth that drapes down from it, and the shoulder pads, they don't, they don't come out, they don't work, they don't show. Sadly. That sucks. Yeah. Yeah, that is a bummer. 
Oh, give me a moment. I'll be right back. I gotta go turn on some lights for Mrs. Shadow so when she comes home. Quantum travel complete. You know, the new Duster's armor, mm -hmm. when you look at the actual armor pieces and like, you don't look at like the feathers and the mask and all that kind of stuff, but you look at the actual like shoulder pads and the, uh, the actual core armor of it, mm -hmm. it looks like it was heavily inspired by the armor from, um, the Marines from the Aliens movie, the second one. Yeah. Okay. It looks... Almost, it, it looks, it looks almost exactly like it. Mm -hmm.
All right, I'm going to get off of here and go get something to eat. So I'll catch you later, Shadow. All right, man. You take it easy. Good talk. You, uh, yeah, you have a good stream. All right, man. Take it easy. Take it easy. Yep. Later. Joker, no worries, man. So far, so good. I'm um, gonna check the uh, rock again, but I went and got a uh, hand mineable just in case so I can do some hand mining.
So right now the rock is not able to work with the arm, so I'm out here hand mining. See how well that does.
Hey, Shadow. What's up? Nothing. Just got home, finishing dinner. Uh, updating my uh, end video update. That there's, I guess there's an update for it. Yep, it came out early this morning. Hmm. Hello. Hey, Zero. Nothing? In the EPTU hand mining. Okay. Trying out, see if it works. And tomorrow I'm going to try the uh, multiplayer for the Arena Commander tomorrow. See if that works. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Uh, which uh, which ship uh, are we going to test that on that one? Well, we're going to try the hammerhead. Take mm, it into okay. the Bandu swarm and see if we can blast some butt. Or we can go into the pirate swarm and try that. See what it's like. How big a ship a most vulture can munch? Interesting. Try some more salvage in the EPTU. Joker is all about the munching. Ooh, Miss Peaches. I did a 400 eye with ease. Well, well did the munching. <laughs> yes, it was. Get, go ahead. Uh, on your end video settings on your sh uh, shader cache size do you put it as a gyro default or a particular size i didn't put it as a size because i delete mine oh, okay every, just default yeah i i dump mine every two two days okay yeah somebody was saying about like if you increase your uh shader cache size it gives you a little more better on the graphics yeah that's true but i i wipe mine every two days so i did how do you wipe that with that tool with that that uh that. tool that i gave that uh what rocker joe gave me it's changed a little bit because the uh, the folder where Star Citizen usually has it has moved, uh -huh. but uh, clearing out the <clears throat> shader caches, it, it still connects to that. A lot of people say 10 gigabyte. Yeah. So that, that helps mine out too, even though I got a uh, AMD. Yeah, because it does AMD and uh, NVIDIA. Sweet. But I made it. Where do you find the... the... What? Oh, 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 I was going to ask you, where do you find... The tool? Well, the tool and the... I think I found the folder. The tool automatically goes to that folder so when you install it it will automatically find that and then you can just set it up now you can use that tool to wipe out your uh, user folder as well but I don't do that <clears throat> I manually do it oh, okay uh, is that on the discord somewhere or if you could send me the link it's on the Discord somewhere. It's back in the boonies. 
I think I sent uh, it to okay. zero a while ago. Uh, yeah, let me check see if I got it. Oh, nice little field of apparite. I'll take it. that I, I got on a mission. Where, uh, where can I sell that Laranite? At the TDD? Oh, okay, like uh, R Corp and uh, Area 18? Yeah, Area 18 or the, C, or the Central Business District or the TDD on uh, Orison and uh, also Microtech. Mm -hmm. Laranite is easy to sell. It's that new stuff that's hard to sell. Okay. Yeah, if anybody's got any questions or comments, please feel free about the EPTU. I will give you what I know. I'll tell you what I know. Uh, Stability-wise, it's been doing very well few issues here and there, but other than that, very stable. I did send it to you, I just don't remember how long ago it was. I think I sent it to... I know I sent it to... But it's been a while ago. Herkel. Yep, I've seen that. Oh, maybe not. Shit. Mm -hmm. I thought I did. Discord. Purple. Holy shit. Nope. Oh, excuse my French, everybody. I thought I sent it to you. Maybe I sent it to the Joker. Shave. I know I sent it to shave. That's been a while ago too. I have it, but I don't remember how you gave it to me. Yeah, I sent it. I sent it to you. Holy crap! Who was the last person I sent that to? My God. That's been almost a hundred years ago. Mm. Oh, you ganned off the shadow. Yeah. Oof. Going back. Hold on. It's like, take me back. Do 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 do, take me back. Mm. <laughs> so, are they coming out with another patch for the EPTU today, or if they haven't dropped it by now? It's, they were talking about a build. I didn't see anything pop up. So, if they did. I sent that to. Holy crap, it's been that long ago. Right. I know I have it. I'm mean, someone I got a shortcut on my desktop. But I don't remember how you sent or how I got it. I think you sent me it was, I it sent was you a link to it. Right. But I don't I don't know who else who else I sent it to. Up, 
Gortok. That was the last person I saw it too. Copy the link. Send that to Dyer. You need it, uh, Zero, or no? Nope. I have it. And just send it to him, so. might want to make a page just for that tool and just go look at it. Yeah, I did have it in the tool section. Um, hold on a minute. It should be in the help section. Do, 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 do. do, do, do. Mm, new tech chapter, pictures, in-game help tools. Yep. It's in in-game help tools. That's where it is. If anybody needs it. I knew I, I put it there a while that. ago. I'm not seeing that one. You should be able to see that. It's right under YouTube videos. What's up, Devar? Devon, how you doing? YouTube ticks. Got as far as you should see dark memes, pec pictures, ship information. You should see all of that stuff. No nope. snowbird entry, star citizen chest, snowbird generals, I mean, star citizen screen, SC tracker, dark memes, and pet pics. You should be able, You should be able to see all of that. I have to check your permissions. send it to him. He'll be back. Did you get the... You got it all downloaded, Zero? Finally. Yeah. And put my reshader, reshade on there, too. So well, you need it. that, because you'll be yeah. blind up in here. I can't play without that mm -hmm. thing. <laughs> it is definitely dark. place is clear. I found me a little aphorite. Nice. Yeah, but it took me forever to get there. Let me see. Let's see how much I got. Oh, 56. Ooh. This backpack is full. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get back to the ship and empty this out.
tried the rock uh, joker and it's not working. Wait a minute, all these gems laying around here? What's going on? Mm -hmm. Hold on. Uh, can't, can't be <laughs> can't be leaving nothing. Right. I'm leaving that. Oh, I'm leaving Jack if I can help it. <laughs> no, no. I'll go find out where he at. He leaving coins mm -hmm. on the ground. I ain't leaving <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Turn it out, nothing but my collar. Here's Karen. You're right, I ain't got no collars. Guess what? <laughs> Yellow. Oh, thank you, Shadow, for the link. You're welcome. It's in the end game help tools as well. Oh, okay. Care, store it. Shoot, I can't be leaving them laying around here. Yeah. How do you like the salvage buffer on the uh, uh, vulture and the reclaimer? It's, it's good. It's just that you know when I did it, uh, I moved the box and it got stuck in up, up under the ship and it blew the ship up in the hangar. I was not happy about that. I'm just going to say. I was like, really? Mm -hmm. so, I was like, yeah, I was like, well, you cold-blooded. You cold. Just do, do Shadow that bad. Shadow ain't done nothing to you. All he was doing was trying to like, make a little money. And all of a sudden, boom! Yeah, but you can't sell that stuff right now. No, you can't do anything with it, so... Yeah. Maybe it needed to blow up. But just, just not with me in it. At that time. Yeah, it blew up with me. I mean, all of a sudden, I was in the hangar. I was like, damn. Made me feel like... <coughs> like, fried. I was cooked and... Everything. Just, mm -hmm. just say it. I'm logging in now. I'm gonna check out that multiplayer tomorrow, though. <clears throat> Let's see how that works. Cause I'm gonna see what a hammerhead can do to the Van Duel. <laughs> Probably a lot. Mm, yeah. Everybody get in the turret and shoot them, them bad boys. We'll have a good time. Blow it up. But I was playing around with it yesterday. And you can set slots for whatever ship you want to come back to. So, if say you set for an F8 in slot 1. You can you can put another ship like an anvil arrow in slot two, and then oh, have so you're and ha on. yeah, and have four of them. So you can oh, you can cool. switch in between in between sessions. If you die, you mm. can go to another ship in that nice. in that other slot. I was like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have me like, oh my, my hot ship's gonna be in that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be, be smoking and stroking. Where, where's the okay. stroking? What? Yeah, <laughs> now there ain't no need to get wild. Just smoking and stroking. I keep on saying that. I keep on getting smiley. Yeah, well, that's that's your problem. I ain't got nothing to do with that. 
<laughs> you up just smoking and smiling. It was like, Ugh. okay, let's see. Okay, I'm out of here. I may have to go get another backpack, but I may lose this spot. And it's getting to be daylight. Oh well. I I put that shader up to ten gigabyte. Actually, yeah. I see a big difference. Yes. Yeah, it's better to go. The larger it is, the better off it works. <laughs> that's what I say. <laughs> that's what now. That's what she said. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, both ways, yeah, both ways, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. He's a dirty old man. Uh, I'm older, yeah. Oh, this has been I actually I have to say it's been a good year for for Star Citizen. Well, it was rough compared to what uh compared to what three seventeen was. But uh like I say you guys came in during during the roughest uh patch I've ever encountered. I, uh, actually, my one-year anniversary is coming up on uh, the 6th. The 6th of what? Uh, December. <coughs> ah, so you were, you were in in 317 before it went to 318. Uh-huh. Okay, so you were also... That is the first day that I made my... Publicized my first video. Ah, look at that, see? <laughs> Yeah. I hear we get a a twenty percent discount on our one year anniversary. Um, I believe so. If you were a subscriber for a year, yeah. Oh no, I know. I think I became a uh, subscriber in March or February. I guess I have to wait for that. Uh, I can't put it in because the arm is stuck. Stupid. <coughs> oh, you okay, Shadow? Yeah. I can't go in the go in the C1 because the arm of the rock is broken. It's sticking up, so it won't go in. So, right now, the rock is screwed. Hey, hey Phenom, 10% off discount first year subscriber. Send you an invite zero. That is if you're, if you're doing $10 or $20. I think $20, $20 is 20% off. 10% is a $10 one, I think. So what's up, Fina? Fina, can't you sell the uh, gems up at the uh, at like uh, the Grange Point? If I'm, if I'm right. Launch complete.
tried to do something in the PU and it just wanted to act a fool today. I said, nope. Try again tomorrow. Or try again later. Okay, let's go see. I got a C2, so let's see if I can do it. That C2. So your year is on Wednesday. Yeah. Yep. My two years as content creator is on Wednesday. I got disconnected. Last thing I heard it was my my thing on my anniversary is on Wednesday. Quantum travel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, my um. Hello. Hello. What's up, Brian? Hello, what's up, Dyer. Brian? Boss. Hey, what's up? Joker Zero. What you up to? Got just got done eating. Good old dinner, and gotta get another rat cage fixed up because mother in law is going out of town and we have to babysit. Mm. That's about it. Hold on one moment. I'm sorry, I'm reading some. Phenom, if you're there, can you sell your gems out of your backpack on, at the refinery on a, on a Lagrange point? Oh crap, I didn't mean to do that. Shadow should be 
what do we have tomorrow? Question. Yes, sir. MBA cannons or a mis a miski uh, laser cannons? For what? Well, I'm doing VHRTs, and I mean, I'm going against bigger ships, so I'm thinking of laser cannons. So I'm thinking Aminskis or MB MBAs or M MBAs. Oh. I've used. Um, I've used um, skis. Uh huh. And I didn't like them very much. I I okay. stick with repeaters. Omskis are good on the freelancer. Mm hmm. But I use the laser repeaters like the attritions and the bulldogs and the stuff like that, the panthers. I don't really like the laser cannons that much. They may. They pack a punch, but I like the option of being able to hit more and keep hitting in the same spot and that'll bust the shield down too so just depends you can ask the joker he knows more about it than me all right well um okay <laughs> if i thought. go for the yeah. if i go for the repeaters the cf repeaters yeah. I'm at area 18 right now, but they have all the sizes except for the f number four that I need for my gimbal. Uh, you have to go to another spot where... Hmm. That sucks. Please proceed to assigned landing bay. Gotta go for Did Urkel. you check Urkel? Yeah, did you check Urkel? No, no, not yet. Yeah, that's the best thing. Urkel is your friend. Urkel is my friend. Okay. Yes, Urkel is the best. Alright. I mean, Sea Stone is good too, but Urkel is much more reliable. And is it true that, that they're going to shut down Urkel? He was about to, but uh, people uh, donated him money to keep the server running. Oh. As far as I know, it's still being donated because it's a lot to run the server. The server went higher, so. So he decided that he was going to shut it down or get close to it, and people crowdfunded him to keep it up and going. The community did. Oh, that's cool. And, uh,. It may be a little slower than than usual, but it's still <coughs> a good thing. It's still running. Oh, nice. Crazy desync. Are you getting desync? Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay.
So, yep, the subscribers will find out what is going on tomorrow. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder what it is. I wonder. Well, we'll see a, a new ship, ship of the month. We shall see. Hopefully, did anybody see if there's a new build that dropped down for the EPTU today? No. Mm -hmm. Nope, didn't see it. Nope. Good, it's for us, though. I don't think they're going to do nothing today. If they do, it'll be late, because it's, uh, it's 5.30. Last time they did something this late, it was doggone near 8 o'clock at night. And they're talking about uh, an update to the program, so I have no idea what's going on with that. An update to the program? What do you mean, like the EPT? No. For the, Welcome. Please visit us again. For the Goodbye. subscribers. Welcome to oh, the ASOC okay, okay. Vehicle Retrieval System. Which will be super cool when it does drop. That dude, he gets in more trouble. Doo, 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 doo. Whoops, sorry, pardon me, excuse me. Whoop, oh. nope, we're going over here. For sales. Let's see if we can sell this for. Select the location. That's got to be in the ship. Still shows the ship. Trading console. Okay. So Phenom, it has to you have to it either has to be on the ship or
Hmm. Yep, Mrs. Shadow's home. Mrs. Shadow is home. It is home, Miss Shadow. Mrs. Shadow is home. Let me change this over. And I'm going to go and sell this. Welcome to the ASOC Vehicle Retrieval System. What, what uh, questions do they have that on the Q&A for the Arrestra? I have no idea. Oh, okay. I haven't seen them. Oh, okay. Hey, Lurch, what's up? How you doing? Yeah, it's an inventory glitch, so I gotta put it on the ship. I'll just sell it off the ship. If it'll let me do it. It's so weird. Which... Hangar 2. Floating around, at least I remembered in the... At least I remembered the helmet this time. Oh, <laughs> oh, you're in the PU? Okay. So you could do it, but you just have to blow it up. You have to blow it up? Yeah, I'm at the C2. I'm just blowing it up right now. So, yeah, you could do it, but you just have to make it small pieces.
Yep, I tried out the new hairstyle. <clears throat> Actually have one. Launch complete. Just uh, barely get to look at it, but yeah, I'll show it to you when I get to our court. Thank you, and please visit again. Quantum travel complete. Quantum travel complete. Sorry about that, I was talking to Shadow. Please proceed to assigned landing bay. Proceed to assigned landing bay. 
Oh, it's so nice to get a landing bay. Now, if they would only give me one large enough for the damn ship. What do you think? <laughs> I can agree. Alert. 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 I'm going to do an early stream tomorrow. Joker, because they don't give me a, uh, the right size hanger, the front of my ship. The I was clipped. Yeah, yeah, it's like, really? Damn it! I'm gonna talk to that crew chief. <laughs> Too many. It's it's somebody else's turn to fire. Shoot. Fire one every every day, every other day. Almost. Almost got to land that thing diagonally. Yeah, but this this bay this hangar is really not designed for this ship. You like you have to point your nose in and then drop your drop your butt. Seriously. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for for next year is uh, persistent hangers, our own personal hangers. Well, everybody's excited for that. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, pretty much like it's like it's like building on a, like a home, like literally like you know put your ships in a in a you know certain you know mm -hmm. way, and, and then putting furniture if possible and crates and stuff and having your like your own little area of like all your special loot in in your little areas section yeah I, i'm excited because actually that's her it that's why i still go back to you know um uh starfield because you know i have a nice space you know i, I like to you know walk around and you know put things in there and you know you know, they have a lot of little stuff around the verse where basketballs, globes, a whole bunch of stuff you could just put in your in yeah. your face. So, yeah, I can't wait. Well, like I say, when they do that and they got the freight elevators and all like that in there, where I can get all of my purchased equipment back, I will be a happy yep. camper. That's another thing, yeah. The whole... Uh, losing your armor and you know you know paying a a fee to get it back you know on uh, uh, in you the first to, you shouldn't have to pay a fee to get your own stuff back i mean seriously <laughs> i'm just yeah. gonna say that it, well it's like an insurance fee i mean you you are taking a risk taking it out in the verse and if you do lose it i mean yeah then... but that that's a little bit much it's just i i'm i'm i don't know and if they do it, fine. I don't care. You know, it, I just want my stuff back. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. What, what about this. if they do? What about if they do this? Let's say, let's say you have your best armor, like you purchase and everything, and you mm -hmm. get killed, and somebody snags it, somebody loots you, whatever happens, happens. No. Your no, body I, goes to the planet. I want it back. Your, your body goes to the planet and let's say you can retrieve it from those hangers that they say they, they should be coming out later in the year uh, 
and they say, okay, you have two options. You can wait 24 hours and you have it back in your thing, or you can do a expedite fee for, I don't know, $1,500. <laughs> I'll, I'll wait 24. Okay, see? Okay. I, I don't mind that. But, like I say, if it's something that I really, really want back bad, maybe. Uh huh. But, no. No. Is that, I have, a, I have a feeling that that's what they're going to do because that's what they do for ships. So like, if you want your ship back and faster, you pay a little fee, you know? Well, you have to do that. If, okay, say you've only got one ship. That's a different story. That's one ship. If you have mm -hmm. multiples of armor or whatever, you can wait 24 hours or you can pay the expedited fee. That's totally up to you. Right. But you're still, but for a ship, you, you're you going to pay an expedited fee any, you're paying a fee anyway. Because it takes sure. time for it to get there. So, I mean, you know, either way, I can wait 24 hours. I got another set or I can go out and buy a set. You know what I'm saying? Right. So just that I want them to I just want to be able to get my stuff back that's it <laughs> that's all I want they're going to put something in the like the buggy track they're going to put a new buggy track in, at uh, our court oh at our court I wonder oh why do you say that yeah, because it's just sitting there right now not doing nothing in the convention center ah uh, okay they may put one in there, they may not. Who knows? It'd be kind of cool if they did. Have you done any um, missions with the guns? What do you mean, missions with the guns? Oh, I mean, have you seen... Uh, because I've heard that they've done some... Uh, some uh, adjustments to the speed and velocity, ammo to yeah. the guns? Yeah, I've tried them. They're, it works. Oh, okay. It's cool. Oh, okay. Uh, now it won't let me sell off the ship. Cost me some. Saw somebody else uh, hijack uh, the Idris on the EPTU. Um, it's still hollowed out. Yeah, it, it won't be in there for a minute. I don't think. Just my thought, though. Uh, can't wait for the per uh, Polaris to come out. So you have to sell it there, and it failed. Great, but at least I have it. So, mm -hmm. okay. So, somebody wanted to see the hairstyle. Got to whip it, chattel. Got to whip it. 
Was <laughs> really good. No. Yeah, was... <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, so there is the new hairstyle, and I like it. Blowing locks, blowing locks, indeed. Never built a base in Starfield. Haven't played since the second week after it came out, I don't think. <clears throat> I played it like four or five times and then a lot of the EPTU stuff started coming out and PTU and all like that and I just I just said, okay, I need space, so I took it off my SSD. I can uh, put it back on, stuff like that. Kind of cool to see your hair move. It's pretty slick. Oops, ran into the wall. So, there's the hair. And I'm heading out because I got to go do something. So, uh,. So we'll see about the what the subscribers are going to get tomorrow and the new upgrade. Then let's see what other news was there. That's pretty much it until uh oh oh we got a new update. Uh, okay, Martyr Art. Hello, Martyr Art. Welcome. Welcome. To the uh, server. Um, hold on, let's see. So, yep, that's all there is tomorrow. November subscriber newsletter and com link. November subscriber newsletter? You mean December? Uh, subscriber program update. Then th nothing on Wednesday, Thursday, Structural Salvage, Inside <coughs> Star Citizen, and Q&A, RSI Arastra, then Friday, Patch Watch, Weekly Newsletter, and that's it. And hopefully we'll get another patch for uh, CitizenCon. Or not to, oh, that, uh, for the EPTU. Mm -hmm. And hopefully it goes to PTU all backers. And people can jump on, play, have a good time, check it out before it goes live. So, I hope you all enjoyed it. The rock is broken. I can't get the arm to work, so that was a bust. But I did come away with something. So, anyway. Thanks. Tomorrow... AC multiplayer in EPTU. Gonna check it out, see what it's like, and go from there. So, everybody, take it easy. Have a good night. Take care. And <sighs> later, later, Mr. Joker and Dyer. And oh Lord, hold on a minute. What's the... hold on? Wait a minute. Okay, so Void Walker Joe stopped by. Uh, 
Dyer, Brian, and Mr. Joker, and Zero Cool was here. So, everybody, have a good night. See you tomorrow for a multiplayer uh, Arena Commander. Go and check it out. Take care. And I found the button, Joker. <laughs> About to text Shaves. Yeah, yeah, you were about to text him, so he said, Where's the button? It was on earlier, it was fine. Hello, everybody, and welcome to 